over 400 senior leaders of the Catholic Church will be in Uganda later this month for the Symposium of the Episcopal Conferences of Africa and Madagascar, SECAM. According to the chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference and Bishop of Kinda Mitiana Diocese, Joseph Anthony Zua, says President Yoweri Museveni and a special representative of the Pope from the Vatican will grace the meetings set to run from 19th to 29th of July this month in Munyonyo. The plenary assembly is the highest body of SECAM and it meets once every three years. The last time we met was in Rwanda, Angola, three years ago. And we are expecting over 400 delegates from Africa, Madagascar, Europe, America, Asia, and even beyond. The 50-year-old SECAM or Symposium of Episcopal Conferences of Africa and Madagascar is a continental body that brings together Catholic bishops of Africa. Bishop Zwa say the church in Africa has made tremendous achievements which will be unveiled during the conference. One of the achievements is the increasing number of the clergy in Africa as compared to the rest of the world. Uh, there were less than 10 dioceses in Uganda. Today we are 19 dioceses. At that time, the number of bishops were less than 15. Today in Uganda, we are about 30 bishops. At that time, there were less than, I think, uh, um, 400 priests. Today, we have over 2,000 priests in Uganda, Ugandans. So uh, there is a lot to, to celebrate. Of course, the work of the church is visible in many ways. As Bishop has explained, visible in our care for the poor, visible in our hospitals where we take care of the sick, visible in many, many ways. The symposium was established in the 1960s with a desire by the church in Africa to have one voice in evangelization. It was officially inaugurated in 1969 when Pope Paul VI visited Uganda at Raga Cathedral. This will be the 18th Second Plenary Assembly, with the last one hosted in Rwanda, Angola, in 2016. Polycap Cardinal Pengo of the Democratic Republic of Congo is the current president of the institution which has never been held by a Ugandan national. Jingo Francis, NTV.